Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jack Gerfin. We had plenty of sunshine yesterday, and the warm temperatures were obviously really nice to have. Now the time has come for our cold front to come on through, and at this point we have much more in the way of cloud cover for not only for today, but also for tomorrow too. The high pressure briefly comes in here for the weekend, most likely by Saturday, giving us more sunshine, but then we're back to being cloudy on Sunday, thanks to our next chance of rain that'll be coming on through. So there's really not much more in the way of blue skies anymore in the viewing area. This is Danville on our Florida America iNet camera. With the cool air filtering in behind the cold front that came through last night, we are now all cloudy. Some of us, though, so did start the day off pretty clear, but now as we've gone through the morning and now into the early afternoon at this point, the entire viewing area now has a solid deck of clouds on it thanks to the more northerly and kind of westerly winds that we have as these all kind of rotate around the low that's back off to our east. The cold front that came through last night and this morning that brought those rain showers now off to our east. And even though things are pretty quiet across a lot of the midsection of the country, it isn't going to be a big warm up or anything like that. And we're not looking to have a ton of sunshine either. It's not exactly the strong Strongest area of high pressure, but it does come through and it will keep things at least quiet for us, but cool for the next couple days. So 54 is the temperature currently in Champaign, 53 in Decatur, 51 in Jacksonville, and only 50 currently in Bloomington. Because the cold front has passed us by, our winds are out of the west at around 10 to 20 miles an hour, sustained, and then you turn the gusts on and you've got those gusts that are close to 30 miles an hour in a few spots. So definitely not one of our better days today, and in fact, you can definitely see that with our 24 hour temperature change graphic. We now have Jacksonville at 20 degrees cooler right now than where it was 24 hours ago from right now. 18 degrees cooler in Springfield. The same can be said for Bloomington and Lincoln and 17 degrees cooler in Effingham. So a much cooler day today. We were in the upper 70s yesterday. We are now only topping out at about 60 in many spots and some actually may be stuck in the 50s today with the clouds and the wind. And our temperatures are gonna be in the same ballpark for Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday. A warm front where the next system comes through on Monday that bumps us back up into the middle 60s and upper 60s. But at that point, we're calling for more in the way of some rain showers for us. We'll drop down to 50 tonight with cloudy skies still. And winds out of the north at around 5 to 15 miles an hour. But our attention really does turn to quite a bit of rain in our forecast. About an inch and a half to two and a half inches of rain can be expected as we go throughout a lot of this week because of our systems that will be coming on through. So Saturday, one of the nicer days of our forecast. We'll have a temperature of around 61 with sunny skies. And then our first of a few systems comes through on Sunday that lasts into Monday and brings us the rain showers there. So Sunday is where we're going to start with our future track. The warm front's going to be moving through. So really by Sunday into Monday, the temperatures will begin to warm up a bit more. But this is a slow moving low. So we have rain showers for both Sunday and Monday. This moves out of here and it's dry, but pretty quiet for the next couple days. And then our next system comes in for late Wednesday into Thursday. And that does provide us with a chance for more rain showers. So definitely a much cooler forecast from here on out. A lot of upper 50s and low 60s for the next few days here with cloudy skies. Gets a little bit warmer by early next week, but then at that point, we are talking rain showers for a lot of central Illinois. And those rain showers will be potentially adding up to, like I said, about an inch and a half to two and a half inches of rain. So uh, after a nice stretch of days here that we just got done with, we are now turning a bit more fall-like with more cool temperatures and more rain chances as well. I think we've held off on some of those fall-like temperatures yes. back for such a long time, and now we've got to embrace them. Yep, so. we got to embrace them. They had to come here at some point. We've been above average for so long. Now it's time to get closer to normal. All righty. Well, that'll make Halloween even more festive. That's right. That's right. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Yep. Well, some high